guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's do something fun and oh so simple. Stay tuned. <music> So before we jump into anything about today's craft, I want to read a comment that I received, and I think it's a very important comment. Unfortunately, it's not something that is within my level of skill, but I know that there are plenty of you out there who might be able to just jump in and help out with this. And the comment is from Mary Ellen Schwimm. Mary Ellen says, nurses and healthcare workers need masks in some areas of the country. If things don't change, all healthcare workers will need it. If possible, please show how to make masks. Hopefully some of your followers can sew. Thank you. And as I mentioned, I am not equipped to assist with sewing masks because my sewing skills are weak. But I know that a large portion of you out there do sew. Some of you on a professional level so Mary Ellen raises a very good point, and you see it all over the news that um, the CDC has even asked some people to use bandanas as a way of self-protection. So for those of you out there who do have sewing skills, please contact your local authorities, your local hospitals, your EMTs, your fire departments, anyone to see if there's anything that you can do to help out with that skill that you possess. They, they may actually take you up on it and ask you to assist with sewing some masks so that they can have them in the event that they need them. So Mary Ellen, great looking out for your fellow man. You guys, this is what it's all about. It's all about jumping in and helping out and we will make it through this horrible time, but it's ideas like this and then putting it out there to people. So hats off to Mary Ellen for at least reaching out. I wish, I wish, I wish that I was a seamstress and I could jump in and help out with this. I'm not. But the one thing that I have been blessed with is a wonderful YouTube online family. And you guys will jump in and help out where you can. So Mary Ellen, thank you again. So I am going to switch gears somewhat, but it still all ties into why we all are stuck in our homes these days. And as we're all stuck in our homes, we're all looking for ways to exercise our minds, to keep anxiety and everything else at bay like you guys. You know, I'm scared of this too, and I am doing my best to stay positive, and I'm hoping that I'm able to inspire and encourage some of you who might be feeling the same way to look on that positive side. Yes, this is horrible, but we can get through it. And today's project really is a fun one. It will exercise your mind, stimulate the brain, and challenge you to forget about, you know, everything that's going on, if only for a few minutes. And here it is, guys. I made this in a masculine theme, and I'll explain why in just a minute. It looks like it might be a journal. It even looks like it might be a notebook. What this is, is a book of puzzles. And Mike loves to do these, so I decided that I would take some of these puzzles that I have, and I have stacks of these because I had intended to do something with them last um, Easter, and I didn't. So I have these and I thought that I would take these and just cover some of them and just create a little series for him so that when he's tired of playing video games, when he's tired of watching TV because there's no sports on and he gets tired of just regular TV very quickly, he'll have something that he can go do. And he loves doing these puzzles. He'll spend hours doing them. So I decided I would take one of these little books and they're cute just as they are, but I thought I would dress them up and just create a whole set. So that is what we are going to be working on today. Y'all, let's do it. So to make our project, we're going to need a piece that measures 12 by 12 and a piece that is 10 and 3 quarters by 8 and an eighth. And I'm going with the brown again, but this time I'm using polka dots. And then we are going to need two pieces of chipboard that measure 8 and 3 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths. All right, so to make our book, we're going to start with our 12 by 12 piece, and I'm going to take my 8 3 8 by 5 and 3 8 inch piece, and I am going to place it down, and I am going to give myself about a quarter of an inch 
on my border and because I'm using thin paper wrapping it around getting it to wrap around with such a small border really won't be a problem so now I am going to bring in my book and use it as a spacer guide so I'm going to take this piece of chipboard and butt it against my book and then once I have it butted against there I'll have this space then I'm simply going to slide it out until I have about a half inch space and you can actually put this in your scoreboard if you want but I didn't because I'm lazy so now we need to fold over the edges and then I'll use my finger blade to miter my edges on all four sides and then once my edges are mitered I'll take my tape runner and I am just going to place some tape on the ends and then I'll fold them over use my bone folder to get them nice and stuck and I will do this on all four sides alright so once I have my edges down I am going to place tape and just run it all over this page so that I can lay down my beautiful liner piece. Alright guys, so I have my tape down on my board and now we're going to place glue on the back side of our 10 and 3 quarters by 8 and 1 8 inch liner piece. And I am just going to place it down, hopefully getting it fairly straight. And I'll use my bone folder to get my spine nicely defined. And on this one, I decided to add a little pocket to the back. And this pocket measures two by eight and a half. So now we have our jacket made. And all we need to do at this point is I am going to use my glue. And I am going to place glue on the spine of this book. And then I'll put it down. So once I have my glue on the back, I simply need to take this, place it inside of my spine mark. So I'm going to press this down just a little bit. And now we simply need to let it dry. All right, guys, so our book is nice and dry and it is ready for us to decorate if we choose to do so. And I love how the pocket in the back turned out. I think that that's just so cute. And what I'll be decorating with is I will be using this set by Anna Griffin. It's a card making set, but I always buy her card making kits because I like the embellishments and I also like the papers that she will use for the cards and you can use those in so many different ways. And I am going to open this up so that you guys can see some of the goodness that you get in here. So you get all of these gold foil embellishments, but then you just get oodles and oodles of embellishments. And these will go a very long way. I mean, look at all of the embellishments in this bag. And then you get these and you get so much, even right down to the pop dots. I mean, it's just amazing what you get in here. And look at these pieces. So many wonderful ways that you can take this and yes, it's intended to be an easel card making kit, but for me, that's not how I use the kits. I like to get the kits because I can take these wonderful elements that are in here and just use them to dress up all of my projects. So I am going to go through here and find something that I want to use, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here is what I decided to go with. I decided to go with these little gold flourishes as well as this gold sticker that says, it's your day, live it up. So I am going to take this one and just put it here, just like that. And then I'll take this one and I am just going to put it here, just like that. And now I'll take my sticker, peel off the back, and I am just going to place this in between these two and I'm going to try to get it pretty even. And I think that that is just fabulous. I mean, we took a plain Dollar Tree puzzle book and we have created something that looks like this. So this is just a fun, cute, and upscale way to have your crossword puzzles 
and look good while you're doing them. So I'm going to bring the other one back in. I've got this one and then I have this one. And they're just so, so elegant and so cute. And I get asked all the time in comments, why do you go so far with your embellishments and you know you put all of this into a Dollar Tree book? And my answer to that is why not? If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right and make it look like a million bucks even if I only paid a dollar for the book. It doesn't cost much guys to take something to a whole new level and that's exactly what we have here with these two puzzle books. So I hope that I have inspired some ideas. If you happen to have some of these in your home, whether it's the larger ones or the smaller ones, go ahead and, and make up a few of these. It doesn't have to be masculine. Just change the paper, any season, any reason, any gender. So guys, I hope that you have liked this project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys, please stay safe. Happy crafting. And we'll chat later. Bye.